M0FXB, welcome to my channel. I had a couple of people asking me about the DV Mega hotspot and using DAPnet, setting up DAPnet. So I'm just going to quickly show you what I did. So the first thing you do is go to DAPnet here and you go to their page where you open a ticket. Okay. And it looks like this. I'll put a link in the description that takes you straight to it. Open a ticket. So you open a new ticket like so. This is basically creating an account. Put in your court, your email address here. We just got m0fxb at outlook.com. Then we'll go Andreas, full name, um, call sign m0fxb. Then the first, you open a ticket twice. The first time is just so you can have a username and password so you can log into your account. So go new DAPnet account with RIC means with a pager number. Okay, just click that. Scroll down, say something like I've got a hotspot. I'd like to have, you know, uh, a DAPnet user number, RIC number. If you've already got a pager and you want it to talk to the pager, it does ask you here to put in your RIC. But I found it better just to tell them that you had a DMR number and they use that to create you a an, R, an RIC is your DAPnet number, okay? And then put in the capture code here at the bottom and then you'll get, they'll message you back within about a day, if it's a weekday, to give you your username and password for your new account. So then you can go to your account and you'll be able to log in, okay? Like I am now, I'm logged into my DAPnet account. And you can download the app now or use this actual program now um, uh, on the PC or the app to start sending messages and the way you do you do that is I just briefly say you go to this call section and you'll see different things you can do but that's not what this this um, this one's about this is just about the basic settings if you're using a hotspot so once you've got that then you have to go back to this DAPnet and open another account but this time it's called a transmitter account new DAPnet transmitter and you can only do a transmitter account when you've got the basic account so okay same details but this time short description they are going to ask you some details about your transmitter don't be put off by that just put your call sign in if you're using a hotspot then just put in what you think you know you, if your antenna's four foot off the ground and you're only running half a watt put that in just put the you know put the what is happening in again put a capture in and you will get a transmitter password. The password for the transmitter will be different than the, for the account, but the username will be the same, which will probably be your account passwords. Now, once you've got this in information, you can now start to set up Carl's hotspot. Now, remember this, you do need to have the latest um, updates on Carl's hotspot, DV Mega Genesis. He as even he, he may have already added it for you but otherwise you have to ask him for the a file and there is a procedure and I'm going to put a link in the description to the procedure that I used to update my screen but check with Carl first but mine is a 3.5 inch screen and it worked for me once you've done that then you go into configuration click configuration then go to expert here at the top expert click that then look for DAPnet API in the middle. DAPnet API, click that. Now in here, you're going to put it, you're going to put in your username, it's probably your password, and you're going to paste your account number, not your transmitter, your account number. And that sort of logs you in. And then the TX area is UK hyphen all. So just screenshot this, have a good, and then apply the changes. Once you've done that, go back to configuration. Now scroll down and have a look at your settings here and slide over Poxag. Now I recommend when you're setting this up for test, just turn off DMR because it's Poxag you want. And the, the other interesting thing is once you've slid that and applied it, you get this new window at the bottom, which is called Poxag configuration. And here it is here, call sign. And I just dropped that down and I just selected the one at the top seems to work for me. And you, just remember, you can also do this for your open spot three or four, and probably two. Um, it's slightly differently configured, but it's the same information you need. Then see this frequency here. 
this frequency is what your hotspot is going to transmit to a pager. You don't actually need to use this bit the freak, unless you've got a pager because your, um, your DV Mega is going to receive all the information on the screen and you can transmit from the screen anyway if you've got a 3.5 or 7 inch device. But if you've got a pager at home, hopefully this will, I've already tested and it definitely transmits POXAG pager signals um, and you can test that by just turning a radio on on the same frequency and you will see it, see it transmitting every time it receives a message. So you've done that. Now in here you've got the DAPnet authorization key. Now remember when we asked for the transmitter, they give you another password. Put the password in the DAPnet authorization key and they, they call it an authorization key. Call sign and then apply changes. Once you've done that, go back to your dashboard. Now this is there's one thing that I found that worked better. At the bottom here, go back to where it said POXAG. I left the bit where it says POXAG whitelist blank. And then you've got blacklist, which I think is the stop messages coming through. The whitelist is, I think, that if you put in just your RIC number, yeah, so that'll be their, how they change your DMR number. Um, mine is, for example, is 2341437. They change the 2 to a 3. And you can put that here and maybe you just receive messages that are sent to you and no one else. But if you want all the messages coming through, leave it all blank. So yeah, whitelist, blacklist, leave it all blank. And then what you'll find is when you go back to the dashboard, when you've got this working, you will um, get all these messages. Now, you know, not many people are messaging me. And I think the reason every now and again we get my call here is when I'm turning the hotspot on and off. But if I get my, my transmitter now and send a message to myself, it will appear. So what we'll do now is at the end of this video, I'll just quickly show you the unit um, sending and receiving a message. Bye for now. So we'll start off showing you the app. The app here is DAPnet. Just go to the Play Store and download it. And then just log in with the first account you created with your call sign and your first password. Okay, And you'll get this screen. And to send a message, it's really simple. Just click Send Message. Uh, then you'll put in your your message at the top where it's read there. It does put your call sign for you. Just put hello uh, I'll just put just so we can recognize it X when you tap if you registered correctly when you put in your own call sign M Zero for example, it will show if it doesn't show you're not registered yet You can send them a message and then all just always put all is what we'll put in here and then back out and then we're just going to send it and watch what my DV Mega Hotspot does. Now, the 2.8 does receive messages. You just can't send them using the screen. So we'll just click send. The, there's a message coming through. That's 341437 is my RIC number. That wasn't the same message, so I'm guessing that I sent a message earlier. But in a minute, that one will come through. Now, if you want to send using the screen, once it's all configured, tap the screen, go to DAPnet and then go send just make sure you can see this okay get it nice and clear i mean it looks great especially on a seven inch screen so we're sending it to m and it will recognize your call sign once registered m0 f x b enter then the message just put a load of f's for now enter and then send, yes. Now it should say sending. If it says anything else, there could be something wrong. Message sent. Now if you want to look at your messages, it will show up on this device and we'll look in a minute. But also, if you go to your app, because I've, I've found that the app always works great, regardless of you know any problems with your hotspot. Because the hotspot, I don't know, sometimes it can be a bit temperamental. There it is, hello, there's a message there, hello X. I didn't realize that was a kiss. <laughs> But you can see that worked and it should these messages will also go through to the DAPnet system. Remember, DAPnet have done all the work here. And so you've got to thank them for doing this. Look, all, all the Fs. There's the Fs. As you can see, and there's the kiss. And we can test it, you know, going back and forth, emailing yourself, messaging yourself is the best way. Now, hopefully I haven't missed anything. Um, just go back to DV Mega and then the history. Now tap it again last message now if you're not getting the history the f's haven't come through yet look 
if you're not getting the history, then you've, something's configured wrong, but you should get the history on your dashboard of your, uh, let me think now. Well, the 2.8 probably still needs the update, but the 3.5 inch and the seven inch screen, once you've updated it, and if you're going to buy one from DV Mega, make sure that he gives you the latest update, which I'm sure, of course, he will. Um, and then you're good to go. So hopefully, if I've missed anything, just ask me questions and I'll try and answer them. Thanks for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my DMR radio, when I learn how to do it, it's a bit dark here, to send a message via this system, via my hotspot, to a pager. It can be done. I don't know how, but it can be done. But I've got a pager coming now. There is the pager you want is the one that DAPnet recommend. Let's see if I can find it on their on their site. It's a, I think I'm pretty sure it's an Alpacock 602R. So funny name, but let's see. Sometimes when you log in, it starts to show. it. I'm trying to find it. No, I can't see it here. Transmitters, no. So anyway, Alpha Cock. 602R is the one and it's on eBay. Bye for now, 73, all the best.